I'm Scott Hamilton, the Healthy Voyager, and welcome to the New Year's episode of the Healthy Voyager's Global Kitchen. I've got my pal, Miss Juliana Hever, here with me, and she's gonna make something delicious that's healthy and easy to make, perfect for New Year's, out of her new book, The Vegetarian Diet. Good job, it's a hard book to I got it this time, <laughs> I got say. it. Yes, 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 yes. So tell us a little bit about the book and what you're gonna be making for us today. Yes, something healthy. My new book, The Vegetarian Diet, is basically a hybrid of the Mediterranean meets plant-based. So it's why all the history and science behind why the Mediterranean diet is so healthy and successful, but why we need to be more on a plant-based journey in this generation. So there's a lot of recipes, all Mediterranean style, and this is one of my favorite staples because I love hummus. Hummus should be a food group. And it's a white bean rosemary dip. Very healthy, very simple. It's like five ingredients, voila, done, easy and versatile. So easy, yeah. yeah. It, it is perfect for the new year because people are struggling with how do I get off on the right foot to be healthy this year, and a lot of the times healthy has that misnomer of, oh, it's so hard to be healthy, it's hard to cook healthy, but we're here to prove that Delicious, healthy hummus is easy. Yes. All the recipes in her book are easy. And uh, I'm making a tarragon zucchini soup, which sounds mm. schmancy, but it's not. It's a throw it in a pot, heat it up, blend it, and done kind of soup. So Sounds you're great. gonna get two easy, healthy recipes to get you started off this new year. Love it. So I think we should tell everyone what they're gonna need. For the tarragon zucchini soup, you're gonna need three cups of vegetable stock or vegetable broth. You can also use a vegan chicken bouillon stock, which gives it a little bit more of a rich flavor. You're gonna need about three medium zucchinis diced, salt and pepper to taste, about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, it's gonna give it that nice cheesy flavor. Some fresh tarragon, that's the secret ingredient because I think tarragon is the most underused ingredient and spice and it's so delicious, it makes everything taste fantastic. So some fresh tarragon, you can use about a tablespoon, and a tablespoon of white pepper. And then you're gonna use some chopped onions, shallots, and garlic chopped all kind of mixed together to give it a really, really rich, deep, aromatic flavor, and some celery. Now it's Juliana's turn. That sounds delicious. Okay, so mine is two cans of cannellini beans and about a lemon's worth of lemon juice. You could use lemon zest if you like as well for extra pizzazz. About two teaspoons of fresh rosemary and a, one or two cloves of garlic and a little pinch of pepper and salt to taste. All right, let's get started. I think what we'll do is maybe start getting the stuff in the soup ready to go so it can simmer and get soft, and then we can start in your hummus. Then we blend together, and then we eat. Perfect, sounds good. I love let's it. do it. Okay, so you're gonna get a medium-sized saucepan and set it to medium heat, and you're gonna start with the veggie broth, and we're just gonna dump everything in after that. But we're gonna heat up the broth, and then we're gonna put in our zooks. Because the thing is, you don't have to saute anything because everything's just going to get all soft and nice. And then we're just going to blend it all. So it's like so the, easy. going into one place kind of thing. I love that. You don't have to worry about how perfect the cut is because yeah. I'm terrible at my, my knife skills just are not good. I so know. I love not having to think about it. Just, just like throw toss it, in. it on. You know what? Don't even cut the onion. Just throw it in there. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Then you don't have to cry. It's so easy. I remember watching a Green Acres episode where um, Zsa Zsa's making a cake and she makes it in the box. And, and the, at the end, they said, you're supposed to take it out of the box. And she's like, no, and she pulls it out. And it's like a perfect cake. So I thought that was kind of wow, funny. Wow, if only. If that only you could just like put the box in. <laughs> so everything's going in. We're going to do, don't put all the salt in, because then that'll be terrible. Do your pinch of salt. Again, it's to taste, so however you like it. And in this recipe, we're using white pepper. White pepper gives it just that extra little oomph. Yeah. You know, it's a little softer. different than black. Yeah, yeah, it's softer. It gives it like a, I don't know, it's just a... Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> it's uh, just fun nice. to change. It is, and it's also kind of underused too. So I'm yeah. using white pepper and tarragon, my fave. I love tarragon with lemony things, like a lemon tarragon sauce. I have to be honest, I've not done a lot with tarragon, so I'm really excited to taste it. Oh this. yeah, it's I, super I young. I love it, I just don't use it very yeah. often. You're right, it's totally underused. Yeah, it just smells so fragrant, it's so yummy. Mm -hmm. And then secret ingredient, the nooch, oh, nutritional nooch. yeast. The which best. is good for you and gives it just such good flavor. I'm gonna so toss good. in the rest of this white pepper because it's your just vitamin. gonna, it's all good, good stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna whip this up a little bit, make sure everything's in the broth and cooks evenly. And then once we've got this set, we're just gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes and everything will soften up right where you need it. Um, that's the good thing about zucchini, it cooks through pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And then we blend it and that's our soup. 
Beautiful. And we're gonna kind of do the same with your hummus, yeah? Exactly the same. It's like the most compatible recipe ever. I love it. Yes. Soup and dip. Soup and Soup dip, and dip. lunch. I'm gonna start with, I don't use oil when I saute, I use water or vegetable broth. Yummy. And I really love vegetable broth, but I just had water today, so yeah. that's fine too. So I'm just gonna pour in the water. It's also a good way to flavor anything without needing oil. Yes, I love that, and you're saving all those calories from fat. Like on yours too, yours yeah. is too. Mm -hmm. So I just stick the, the garlic in there and the rosemary. And just gonna get those a little bit heated up so we get some of those fragrances released. Now if you don't have fresh herbs, that's totally fine, but just so you know, it makes everything taste and smell so much better. I know, I know, but it's not easy to do, especially this time of year. Yeah, exactly. But you could freeze them. You can. You can freeze them and then they last throughout the year. If you can. I, I kill everything that I try to grow in my garden. <laughs> so I'm kind of good with like, you know, ground and um, already dehydrated spices, but yeah. I love when I can get them. And I live, you know, we live in sunny California, so it's nice to have. Yeah, we get, we're pretty spoiled when it comes to produce. We are. Or produce, say the Brits. <laughs> right, produce. Okay, so here are the cans of beans. I'm just gonna toss those in there. So you're using warm. cannellini beans? Yes, white Yum. cannellini beans. They're so soft. I love them because they are soft and they have a nice texture when you yeah. when you do anything with them. But I use I use them with all my hummus basically. Like I'll put yeah. them in a can with, with garbanzos and they go well together. It does give a different flavor than just the regular chickpea garbanzo hummus. Yeah, and it's, it's smoother. I feel like it's yeah, smoother. Yeah, and lighter. It doesn't have, I yes. mean, I love chickpeas and I love garbanzo beans, but there is like a definite, like a, I wouldn't say a meaty flavor, but it's a different flavor at the end of every bite that you don't get from the white bean. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I love all beans. I do I too. Love beans. I love beans. Black bean hummus mm -hmm. with cilantro. Mmm, I so love yummy. that. Yes, oh gosh, everything should be hummus. <laughs> Hummusified. Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna pour in some lemon juice. You can use as much as you want, but I like a lot of lemon. And if you want an even more lemony, you could use some zest. Mm. And that makes it really, really nice. And just let the, the flavors get infused into the beans. And then, depending on your, prefer, your uh, what you prefer, but just a little touch of salt and pepper, although that white pepper might be good too. Mmm, right? that would be good. <laughs> and that's it, and then we're gonna shut it. Pull it down a little. That's the fun thing about cooking versus baking. I mean, I love baking, but baking is such an exact science. Whereas when you're cooking, you can just mess with things. Like, yes. ah, use white pepper. Oh, don't get this. You can use this. So, so much easier throwing things into a pot. I love that. Makes yeah. It so much easier. Yeah, baking is a science for yeah. sure, and cooking is an art, right? Yeah. Okay, so our hummus and our soup ingredients are nice and soft and blendable. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, a little hand blender, you can totally put it in any blender. Just be sure that when you're blending hot liquids or hot items, you don't overfill it because it will explode and you'll burn yourself. Yes, I've done that many times. Yes. I've done it with this too. Yeah. This is not so cool oh, yeah. either. Yeah, you gotta, it's like if you can do it in your sink and yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. do this action, That's that nice. works too. But if you are gonna blend, do it in batches, don't put the whole thing in. So just a little word to the wise. So we're just gonna blend up and then serve up, and that's how easy these two recipes are. And we didn't plan this. This is so cute. <laughs> we just had to bring our merchant blenders. Ready? All right. Here we One, go. two, three. <laughs> all right. Got all our yummy chunks of celery and zucchini. And another great thing about the soup is if you're gluten free or you're soy free or you're oil free, this just takes care of everything. It's nut free, it's all allergen free. Yes. You don't need a base, like a cream base or any sort of nut milk or anything like that. You don't need flour to thicken it. I mean, it's just, it's all veggies. It's That's all good smart, to go. yeah, very versatile. Good stuff, this one too. Yes, exactly. So yeah. good, this happy, healthy new year. Yay. All right, well, let's uh, serve this up. Okay, I'll take the little guy. And I'll take this guy. I love eating hummus with crackers. I love I love eating hummus with a spoon. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but I brought crackers because I like to eat. I love crackers. That's like my favorite snack on the planet is crackers and hummus. I it's can live on that. good with crudite, any veggies. Yes. It's good in a wrap. Yes. It's, it's good oh, in a box yes. with a fox. <laughs> All yes, <Dr>. right. <laughs> okay. Oh, look how pretty. So pretty. Get a little fresh tarragon, little pretty garnish. That's beautiful. Look, oh wow. So nice, so nice. It Easy. Matches. They're like perfectly matched match. together. Instead of soup and sandwich, you can make a sandwich. You can do like cracker sandwich. Ooh. Soup and sandwich. Yum. All healthy, all easy, all good stuff. And uh, it smells good enough to eat. It looks good enough to eat.
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go eat. But in the meantime, be sure you give us a thumbs up if you like us. And if you have any questions, comments, or if you made these recipes and took photos, please put them down in the comment section below. And be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any Healthy Voyager TV episodes. And you can find me at healthyvoyager.com as well as across all social media platforms at Healthy Voyager on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and anything new that comes up, it'll probably be Healthy Voyager. And Miss Juliana, you can find her at plantbaseddietitian.com, on Facebook as Plant Based Dietitian, on Twitter as Plant Dietitian, and Instagram as Juliana Hever. That's the, yeah, the one man, one one out. One woman out. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, I guess we have nothing left to say except have, have a healthy, happy, happy new, new year. year. Bye.